Now, the wind has been picking up for a considerably through the last hour. So emergency management officials say if you're at home, use this time right now to go outside and pick up those items in front of your home that may be able to be picked up and flown away when we get this heavy wind. Also, officials want folks to say no, if you can stay home. Six evacuation boats, two swift water rescue boats, and three high water vehicles out and ready as Cy Fair firefighters brace for severe weather. We have them spread out across the community, so we're able to service all the areas at one, you know, if we need to at one time. Assistant Chief Kenny Grayson has up to 75 firefighters and paramedics on standby, plus volunteers. While he and the team prepare for anything, he says because the event happens at nights, makes it difficult. We would like the people, if they can, stay off the roadway, stay inside. Uh, remember that, uh, you know, you can't see the flooded water in the area. Tombow Police Chief Jeffrey Burt says the department, fire and public works set up a command post where they'll watch the storm move through, then know where to send crews. And then any... Um, any nursing homes or any any large facilities that lose power, we go around and we check and we make sure the people that are sheltering within are okay. Emergency management officials at Montgomery County say parents should use this moment to remind their kids about safety plans. Talk to them about tornado safety so that if you do need to pull them out of their bed tonight and move to your safe place within your home, that they aren't completely startled by what is happening. Now, the Cy Fair Fi Assistant Fire Chief also says they will be utilizing a fireboat for the lake, for the town lakes area. Also, the message from many to folks out there, be prepared. Live in Cy Fair, Robon Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.